what's up guys welcome back to another episode of Gioni Drive my name is Sam and today we are headed to Cars and Coffee But the main purpose of this video is to talk about my Alfa Romeo 4C. See, this is my one year anniversary with the 4C. I want to talk about my experience and how much it cost me to own it for that one year. So let's go. is fun but on the other side there is money and this car is relatively affordable but it's also expensive for a person like me so I bought this car last year for 53,500 then I had to pay taxes around $4,500 uh, that's about 8.75% because I live here in Sacramento California and then I had to pay registration which was $1,700. So the total cost of just acquiring the car without any additional fees was $59,700. So that's just for the cost of the car, taxes, and registration. Then the additional part, and that's what the dealer is trying to sell you, was the warranty. So when I bought this car, this is a 2017. It was already five years old and the warranty, manufacturer warranty was already expired. So I added a five year warranty for $4,000. So this car was in Illinois and I had to ship it or pay for transport to get it here in California. That was $2,200. Uh, if it was in an open trader, that could have been a lot cheaper, at least $1,600, $1,700. So the cost of buying the car warranty and transporting it to California by the time I saw it it was $65,900 so for year one I had to pay insurance uh, once I got this car uh, that was $2,400 then the interest uh, I financed the loan it was $51,000 loan although I put $15,000 down uh, it was uh, $51,000 at 8.59% and it was for 72 months. I'm lucky to say I was able to pay off this car in one year and the total amount of uh, interest I paid in that one year was $1,400. So I was happy to save some money there. However, the $15,000 I put down as a down payment, I actually borrowed that money from my credit card because I had a chance to borrow money from the credit card and have 0% APR or no interest for one year. But I had to pay a fee. So the fee was 3% and for $15,000, it was around $600. So I had to add that $600 to the interest. I would say the total cost of the loan was $2,000, which is still cheap for a $50,000 loan. Uh, I bought a new battery for 260, so the total cost for owning the car for one year was 5200 And if I combine the total cost of buying the car, warranty, everything combined is about $70,500. So $70,000 for the cost of buying and also ownership for the first year. 
So that's a lot of money. I can buy a Porsche, a nice 911 for that, or a C8, or a lot of other cars for that money. Other than that, I really enjoy the car. I'm actually gonna keep it for one more year. But this was a car I bought as a transitional car. I was gonna keep it for one year just to experience it. The 4C was never on my top five list, but I like it so much that I'll keep it a little bit longer. And if I find another car that I want to replace it with, then I'll decide. But uh, at least for one more year, it'll be here. <laughs> So for the second year with the car, I do expect to do some maintenance. Uh, I need some new tires, which might be around a thousand dollars. I might do some oil changes, some belt services, and also the water pump. I don't know how much that will cost. I will budget around four to five thousand dollars for that. Uh, if I do some stuff myself, it will be cheaper. But uh, since it's a car, I plan to sell eventually. I think I'll take it to the dealer so I can have some documents. Unfortunately, the dealer is like two hours away from me. So I'll have to find a mechanic locally who can actually do it. And I'll have some document so the buyer can actually see that the work was done by a reputable shop. Uh, so I think that will help me sell the car when I decide to sell. But anyways, that's how much I spent for the first year. Now let's go back to Cars and Coffee and enjoy some cars. Thank you.